Hello, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be doing some installation for the Land Cruiser. We got some new LED lights for it. Uh, full disclaimer, this is a sponsored video. This company contacted me and they decided to send me these two LED lights. Very thankful for that. So we're gonna do a full, um, full quick overview and then we'll go ahead and install it. I will have to find some way to uh, make a mounting bracket on my front bumper because I don't have any ways to mount it yet. But let's go ahead and talk about these lights. So uh, the company is called Prime Lux Light. They sent me two 8 inch LED, um, 160 watt, 14,400 lumen, super bright, waterproof off-road spotlight. I read some reviews and they, um, a lot of people say that it's not actually spot and it's more of a flood. But check it out right here. So I have two of them. One is not open yet and then one I have kind of assembled it already. And this is what they look like. Super amazing. Eight inch, it comes with a clear lens. So the lens just pops in like that. This is a clear one. Comes with a diffuser. This is a diffuser one. I think I like the more, I like that. I think I like the clear one, one better. Uh, once I have it installed, I'll check it out and see how the diffuser does it. So the clear one is just more protection, uh, rocks, stuff like that. Super amazing. Right away, the quality feels good. It has some weight to it. It has some cooling fins. It has the bracket. I love this bracket here. This is a swivel bracket. And on the bracket, it's held by one big one and a small one. You can see it here. So this is a full adjustment. And then on the connector plug, instead of connecting to your harness, it's a plug like that. It has a plug. And it comes with this piece. So it plugs it in. So this will go into your wire harness permanently. And then this is a quick disconnect if you ever need to do maintenance and stuff like that. I really love this style. This is almost like how Rigid Industry does theirs. All the nuts and hardware comes with it already. Super amazing. Um, the only thing that I had to get separately was I ordered the harness separately. The harness I ordered off of uh, Amazon as well. And I just ordered a one by Nightlight. So this is a uh, super amazing. Quality looks, feels amazing. Comes in red. I believe they have a version that comes in black as well. But I like the red. The red goes with my vehicle because uh, my vehicle is red and then my I have like the red and black thing. So this is what it comes with. It comes with this, diffuser, instructions, um, wire harness and stuff like that. So let me go ahead and show you what it looks like uh, once it's out of the box or freshly unboxed. Here's what these looks like. Come in a little nice box here, fully packaged already. Uh, made in China, Prime Lux, 8 inch. Super amazing, love it, love it. I love the quality already. The quality just feels good. So here's the instruction, it has all the specs, parts, how to connect it. Uh, wiring these lights are pretty simple. I'm not gonna teach you guys how to wire it. It's all super simple. It has a black and negative, and that's pretty much it. Positive and negative, cover like that. Lights, the light comes in fully covered. Clear lens is already installed on this one. This is the pad for the bracket. This is the wire right here that plugs it in. This side goes to your wire harness. That has all your nuts and hardware, even comes with the Allen wrench. These nuts and hardware are really high quality. I've seen some in the past where they're not the best, but these are really nice. They're super big and they come with a lock nut, self lock nut, and stuff like that. Um, this is a rubber piece pad right here. This goes on the bracket. Let's say this is your vehicle, or whatever, and you want to mount it right here. You put this pad first and then this bracket on top of it just to give it some isolation and to keep any vibra uh, vibration and stuff like that. So this is what it looks like right here. Love this bracket, stainless steel, uh, nice paint already. So super amazing. It's a really heavy duty bracket. It's not gonna bend or anything like that, which I really love about that. So, and also it's held by three bolts. So you have one, two, three. So three bolts that holds it down and then two on each side of the lights, which is really, really good. Um, good mounting point and just looks very high quality overall. So I love it. Has the fins. Installation for the bracket is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, these three here are the one that goes on the bracket to your body. Two small ones, washers, lock, uh, lock washers goes on the small ones. And then the big one goes like this. Pretty self-explanatory. You got the, uh, the lock washer and the washer. And then you have this plastic piece. This plastic piece goes between... Um, the light housing and the bracket just like that I didn't have this install on the first one so I'll go ahead and do it on that one so but I figure out what these were for so they just slide in uh, they slide in as a little cushion or work as a little cushion like just like that right there so goes in like that once you're done this is what they look like lock nut washer that little plastic spacer 
super amazing. Very nice. Very high quality, waterproof. I ordered a wiring harness from Nightlight on Amazon and it was supposed to have the leads where you have to splice it but apparently they sent me this one which is made by the same company Prime Lux and this one don't require any splicing check this out you have the relay positive negative to the battery at the ends of it you have two leads so you have two leads and you can put in two lights so these right here they fit into the uh, lights so just plugs into the lights and then you have a switch the only thing i don't like is just the switch because i want the rocker switch the one that's like a rectangle shape um but i might make this work or i think i might have a spare rocker switch but this is way much better <coughs> so this is the same one same one by prime lux it's already been wired with the plugs already and it also comes with the other plugs the female the male plug so let's say if you have some lights that don't have this plug already you can just splice it to your lights and then plug it in. But this is way much easier. Um, way more. This is this will make it so much easier. So this is just straight and uh, plug and play. Plug into the lights and then plug into your batteries. So let me get this set up real quick. And plenty of wires, guys. Plenty of wires. Took about ten minutes to route all the wires. Switch wire went through here. There's a firewall hole right there. Goes right here. Extra wires zip tied. The relay. We'll go ahead and find a screw to zip that in. Positive, negative. The two leads, all the extra right here, goes under the battery box. Come back out on the battery box. I didn't want to go through the battery box because if I ever have to remove my battery and remove the battery tray, um, that means I will have to unplug the wires. So I went under, back out, under this frame. And then right here, this is the uh, winch wire winch wire so we have one lead all of these are still loose right now until i get the light mounted and then i'll figure out where i want them and then i'll zip tie them but super simple this will get um, protected in here and this is where they will usually go so really easy super simple super clean deleting the charter cat canister and deleting the abs definitely made a big difference just all this extra room to store stuff so i'd recommend it so let me show you where this wire goes into the switch comes from the firewall and then it just loops into here this is my ditch light and uh, this is the switch that i want right here so i think i have another one in my spare bin so i'll just have to go find it and they all plug into the same way it's a three-way one's a power one's a negative and then one is a power that gives the switch a light um just like this right here see how it has a light so that's all it is so there's three wires ground positive and then a power where it gives light to this right here and this is our these are nice right here but it's not made for the cruiser um you would have to drill something if you wanted a circle one and i like having the big rocker switch just makes it more easier to turn on 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 and off and i also like to have my <laughs> lights on this side because when i'm driving on the highway and let's say i have all my lights powered on and there's incoming light i can go ahead and just switch it off real quick just like shutting off the high beam so makes it super simple but uh we'll use this for temporary i have the wire harness powered up right now they just snap into place these are waterproof so you don't need to put any tape over it and it's not mounted on yet but let's go ahead and turn it on off on that's the light i was talking about holy smoke they are bright wow i can't look at i can't look into it right now so i'm standing about a foot away from it right now and i can feel the heat so it does have some heat which is nice because in the winter time if there's any snow or ice build up whoo that thing's is bright Here's both of the light on right now. So everything works amazing. They're super, super bright. So let me go ahead and get the, uh, I gotta fabricate some kind of tab that come out because I was, I was oh, almost dropped that one. Hey, show you how durable they are. So I was debating on mounting the lights like at this angle right here, where it's at, where it's at the angle with the uh, this bar right here. And I was thinking about doing it this way um, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and fabricate some kind of platform where the light will come out like that. So it has to come out right here because this bar here is angle. 
So it's gonna have to stick like this because I, I guess I'm just gonna have it facing straight and then we can face it up and down however we want it, want it instead of this right here. So let me go ahead and find something and start doing some welding. I just got done finished mounting it. <coughs> These are uh, one inch angle steel. <coughs> Went ahead and angled this one. We're just gonna use two of the bolts. There's three <coughs> on the light bracket, but we're just gonna use two, which is plentiful. <coughs> Wouldn't have welded that. Try to get it as straight as possible. Try to get it as straight as possible, but you know, I'm not a perfection. So that's it right there. Uh, I ran out of spray paint. So the only thing we have to do now is just spray paint it and then we'll go ahead and mount it up. So I got to run to the hardware store, grab some spray paint, um, put about three or three or four coats of spray paint. And then after that, we'll go ahead and install the light and it's going to get dark in the next five hours. So I won't be able to test it out until later on tonight. Just got done putting the first coat, Rust-Oleum black, gloss black. We'll go ahead and let it dry 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, and then put a second coat, do three coats and call it good. And then if it gets chipped up, we'll just um, touch it up in the future. But uh, pretty much rock and roll. Just got to bolt on the lights and then do the finalizing wire. Just make sure everything's tied down properly. And then we'll go for a drive. Current time is 11 p.m. here in Anchorage, Alaska. It's not dark yet, guys. It's not dark. And yes, 11 p.m., not a.m. This is what 11 p.m. looks like. <coughs> Just finished the installation. Uh, we don't, I have not tuned it yet. I have not adjusted yet. I have not made any tweak yet because it's not dark enough. But I know that one of them <coughs> is a little bit higher. Right there. First impression, man. These lights are amazing. I love the bracket. I love the bolts. I love the wire system. It's all plug and play um, with the Prime Lux <coughs> wire harness. Super easy to do. Super easy to install. <laughs> the only um, time consuming thing or hard thing was just me fabricating <coughs> the mounts because I didn't have any mounts on my bumper. Um, but if you guys are doing this on your rig, <coughs> you might your setup is be separate, different. So let's take a look, guys. This is what they are. And I think I'm just gonna run the clear lens, but I'll go ahead and I'll show you guys the diffuser. Looks really good once it's all painted. Wires right here. And then the cover through the grill. Super simple, easy installation, nothing crazy at all. And the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order me a rocker switch. Like I said earlier, I'd rather have the rocker switch versus those uh, circular ones. <coughs> but man, this thing looks great. I love it my headlights that's low beam and then the one in the inner by the grill that's high beam <laughs> so it's blocking a little bit of the high beam but that's not a big deal <laughs> um these prime lugs are way brighter so when i need my high beam i'll just flip these guys on so let's talk about my light setup real quick um has a basic denso alternator has a everstart um, plus battery walmart battery the everstart plus 24f um, the only thing I did, I have done, is I've done the big three upgrade. That's what I have for my power. So nothing crazy. I'm running the aux beam LED bulbs on my origin, my housing. Um, LED markers, stock turns, prime lux, and <coughs> these rigid, rigid um, industry right here. These are the ditch light. These came originally with the truck when I bought it. So these are what it looks like. So I will show you guys what it looks like with my stock with my headlights And then I'll show you what it looks like with these guys And I'll show you what it looks like with the prime lux And then I'll show you guys a little bit of everything all blasted up, but right now it's still too bright. Take a look at that right there Look at that Shine right over there. So you can see here. It's pointing towards the ground um, And I think I want a little bit more up more I gotta wait till it's dark and see what it looks like because I can't get a true feeling of what it looks like. like. But look how bright that is, man. Now I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna turn towards it. Cover your guys' eyes if you guys can get it blind. Look at that, guys. It is so bright right now that I can't even steer into it. So that's what it looks like. I feel like I, I, feel like I can feel the heat from here. Boom. Oh my God, my eyes are blind. I can't even see what's behind those lights. I don't even know if it's a Land Cruiser or it looks like a Jeep. 
Man, that's amazing. Now let's go inside the vehicle real quick and see what it looks like from the inside. And I want to do this video right now so you guys can see what it looks like with a little bit of daylight so it's not super right there. And flip it off real quick. Boom. And again, this is a very, um, we'll have to wait till it gets dark, darker. Oh, so it looks good. I might not have to do any adjustments at all. I'm gonna go park by that wall so you can guess. Um, there's the wall right here. So when you adjust your lights or tune it, you want to park like about maybe 20 feet or 50 feet away from a level surface and you want to face like a wall and you want to see where your light pattern is going to. So I want to say we're about a good 50 yards, maybe 40 yards away from that wall <coughs> and we're on a pretty level surface. <coughs> um, the surface really plays a difference too. You do, you do want to be level with it. <coughs> so let me flip it on and show you guys what I mean by tuning it. So right there, so it looks pretty damn good actually. <coughs> it's pretty even right on the bottom, on the floor. <coughs> um, and then looks pretty good on the wall. And I feel like I should be good. Let me back it up a little bit more. Let me back up and see what it looks like. And I really wanna also try this on a really, on a dark road because it's really better to see on a pitch black road well, that right there looks pretty damn good actually guys so i might not even have it i might not even have to tune it i might just have to tighten everything down because i i tightened i snug all the bolts down and then i just got to um if once it's good i just need to really tighten them down and it should be good so <laughs> let me drive a little bit closer and show you guys the pattern so it's a really nice pattern these are advertised as spot but they're actually floodlights so these are floods so that looks really good guys i like i like the way it is right now i might not do anything different let's go straight facing those woods look at that man you can see right in front of it i might want it a little bit higher who knows i don't know i, I gotta see i gotta wait till it's dark i just have to wait till it's dark to finally make a decision but i love it the way it is man look how bright that is now it's still bright as well guys it got it got a little bit darker since we started the video but See that? Oh yeah. I might point it up just a little bit. Cause there's a lot of light going right down here. And I want it like right over here. So this is where the lights start and you can see how perfectly lined up they are. So the one on the passenger, it might need to be tilted just a little bit up more. Just so that it's lined up like right there. And like I said, this is all just minor tweaking. If you don't have to be super picky, I did it just by eyeballing when I first installed it. I'm gonna tweak it a little bit and see if there's any difference. I'm just gonna loosen the bolts a little bit and see if there's any difference on how I mess with it. I did some minor adjustments and I'm pretty happy with it right now, but I wanna show you guys what it looks like. Uh, what This is what my regular lights look like, my regular, uh, regular low beam. And I wanna show you guys the difference. These uh, prime LEDs are so powerful that it just overshines the regular lights. So here goes the Paul lights. And then I'm gonna flip my regular lights on. Look at the difference, it's very it's minimal. Look at that, see that? Those are my regular lights. And when I flip high beam, my regular high beam, you can barely see it. You see that flick on the trees? That's about it. So these things are so powerful that it basically over, it overshined my regular aux beam leds and let me show my regular headlights are off so only the prime lux are on so let me turn on my let me turn on the rigid so there goes the rigid and the rigid definitely helps it shines towards the side a little bit more where you can see any moose if there's any moose coming so yeah looks pretty good so let me show the rigid so the rigids are nice but look at the difference. The rigid doesn't even show all the way. It doesn't show. It doesn't shine in the center of the camera. And here goes the prime lux. Boom. That's what I need for the drive at nighttime. So let me show you everything on. So that's prime uh, prime lux, rigid, low beam, high beam. So that's full power. Everything's on right now. Let's go outside. Look at that, man. Rigid lights. Ox beam LED low and high along with the prime lugs. 
you're not gonna be able to see anything because of the camera the way the camera works but here we go three two one boom blind the current time is 11 44 p.m it's still not fully dark yet here in anchorage alaska i've been working on my truck all day i'm pretty exhausted so i'm just gonna show you guys the best that i can i went to this dark alleyway well the camera makes it look like it's bright now but i went to this dark alleyway here and let me go ahead and lock my doors so here's what it looks like i have no lights on this is just my parking lights so here goes the prime lux boom that's amazing <laughs> i'm surprised wow so that's the prime lux regular high beam aux beam off and then here's the rigid the ditch like so there's that rigid and then here's the prime lux prime lux definitely win for this one so here's the rigid too boom My regular lights, headlights, doesn't make a difference at all. Boom. Rigid off. Prime looks off. So there you have it, guys. The first overview, impression, and in, uh, unbox, install of the Prime Lux. Shout out to Prime Lux for sending me this. Uh, they s contacted me. They're like, hey, we want you to check out our product. I went through their um, site on Amazon. I was like, hey, I like these guys. And I've been wanting these because I don't really want to put an LED bar because there's no way to put an LED bar on this. I would have to put like two LED bars so I would go that way. But these came out really nice and it looks really good. It's starting to grow on me and I'm already loving it. As soon as I installed it, I love it. The quality is great. It's super easy to install and they're super, super bright. I'm looking forward to use them. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description of all the products that I use as far as the uh, lights itself, the harness, uh, rocker switches and things that might be good for this insulation highly recommend it and i'll keep you guys updated uh once i put some miles like let's say 500 miles after the install or even a year after the install i'll keep you guys updated on the quality and the durability but so far it's a five star for me hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys next time follow the instagram nutty new underscore four by four